Ladies and gentlemen, it is the dawn of a new day, and with the dawn of a new day means that we have a new update. Update 14 for Vault Hunters has just, well, recently been released. I'm a little bit slow, bear with me. But it's been released, and a ton of new changes has taken place, and I am super excited to get started with them. As you can see, we now have new stuff in the quest overview, which we will have to take a look at very soon. But... As you can probably tell, we have 10 unspent expertise points, and that is because those got reset on the update. So I gotta retake the stuff that I had before. I'm pretty sure I had Bounty Hunter to the max. I'm pretty sure I had Black Market to the max, at least I want to. Um, then I need to see gain extra capacity of crystals that you craft, allow you to modify them further uh, before cursing them. Yeah, that's nice. Do we need anything else? I mean, I have four left. I need to pick what I want to use them for. In a chance to have the altar roll lucky when crafting a crystal, making the crystal completely free. That's kind of cool. Gain passive. Okay, I need, I need that and I need that. And then I guess we can take two in lucky altar. I think it's nice. I could take jeweler, gain the ability to cut jewels without affecting their grade. That's also kind of nice. I think this is how I had it before, actually. So we're good on that front. Now... Uh, what if the first thing that has changed is these right here, the vault rocks. You, you no longer need to craft vault rocks from vault uh, chips. They, they vault chips basically don't exist anymore. Uh, you now just get vault rocks. But without any further ado, let's actually go ahead and run through the quest overview because this is how things start. So modifying vault crystals, which is what we would do before with seals or a catalyst, Vault crystals can be modified in order to suit your current needs or preferences. There are several different modifications that can be done to a crystal. Seals sets the objective of the crystal to that of the seal, allowing you to choose how to complete the vault. They are craftable. Augments sets the theme of the vault. These are found ever so often in completion rates. Capstones gives, you, gives the vault a buff depending on what capstone is used and then makes the vault unmodifiable. Catalysts adds modifiers to the vault. Modifiers can, for example, increase the amount of a specific chest, while also making the vault slightly harder by adding a random negative modifier, for example, one that buffs the mobs inside the vault. Inscriptions adds a specific room where somewhere inside the vault for each inscription added. By modifying crystals, you can tailor the vault to your liking. Each crystal has a capacity indicator. The higher level you are, the higher capacity the crystal will have. You can exceed the capacity of a crystal, but every time you do, you will add a curse to the vault. All modifiers to a crystal, all modifications to the crystal are done in the crystal workbench. Craft a crystal workbench. Wow, I really can't say any more words because that that was stretching it. So this is the crystal workbench we need to make it. So that is a polished vault stone, diamonds, vault essence, and black chromatic iron, which we should have all of it, if I am not mistaken. Why am I taking this? I don't actually need that. And boom, crystal workbench. I feel like this should probably be next to this. I kind of want to move it. I feel like the campfire... We placed this campfire like episode one or something, and I, I, I refuse to move it. So I'm thinking maybe placing this here, uh, breaking this, and then... Oh dear. <laughs> and then taking it and placing it here with button there and this here and this chest over here. I think this is fine. Just want to reorientate chest facing that way. Then maybe we can have some more stuff over here. This is the current recipe. This is the crystal workbench. But of course, before we can use the crystal workbench, we're going to be needing a crystal that we can actually work on. But these are some examples. So we have the seal of the sage. Uh, use the crystal to set the objective to elixir rush and light the braciers. That's nice. And we also have an augment for the geode caves. And then a phoenix capstone. I don't actually know how you actually make this. Uh, looks like you just find it in treasure chest loot, uh, which we haven't actually found one of these yet. So it looks like we have some more capstones in here. So the Phoenix capstone used in a crystal workbench as a capstone, making the crystal unmodifiable and adding the Phoenix modifier. Don't know what that means. Uh, so I guess we'll have to find that out. It, it's a, a, very interesting. We actually have quite a few augments now. That's kind of cool. But let's see if we have what we need here. Copper, kelp. Rabbit hide and soul sand. Not quite enough cover, but with this beast of a machine, we should have. Yep, yeah, now we definitely have enough. I hope I have enough rabbit. I have just enough rabbit hide. Would you look at that? 
Not enough kelp though, unfortunately. That's unfortunate, like I just said. Don't know why I said it twice, but there you go. So basically all I need is kelp, huh? And before I forget, repairing my chest plate from the last episode's very interesting encounter of a chaotic crystal. Uh, yeah, things took some damage, to say the least. <laughs> And moving on over to this area really could do with a with a uh, refreshing like I love this texture but I feel like I feel like a small I want to expand I think in this area so we can access everything a little bit easier anyway let's get that kelp so just enable the magnet and just do this and that should leave us with 78 only or 72 as I should say that's not that we, we can do better than that ah, okay I'm also drowning you know what I'm happy with that and there we go, crystal is complete. I'm not sure why I'm not seeing the, the particles there, but there we go, we have a vault crystal and it has the capacity of 54 because we are level 54, which is cool. So let's add, not that to there, let's add this in here now. And now we can actually start using stuff. So if I took a seal, for example, of the scout, yeah, let's do that. Let's actually do a seal of the scout. Let's do a wasteland. Let, let's do one of these that we actually have twice of. I'm not actually going to use this. I just want to see how this actually works. So this doesn't affect the capacity. This doesn't affect the capacity either. So that's cool. However, the next cool thing that has changed is inscription. Not inscriptions. I wanted to... I'll get back to that. First we got this. So we still have uh, catalysts. We still have our old catalysts here, which is cool. Uh, we also... These are now turned into uh, cake. This is cake vaults, basically. So you would use this instead of a normal vault crystal, which is interesting. I like it. And then the catalyst infusement table, which no longer requires this, I believe, anyway. We need catalyst fragments, benutite, and dreamstone. So we have plenty of this. I'm gonna take... You know what? I'll take a stack. I'll take a stack of dreamstone as well. And a stack of benutite, because we have plenty. So that's a stack of each. We can add this to here. And this is basically it. So now every one of them has basically different textures, which I absolutely love. Accustomed. Oh, extra vault experience. Is that new? Extended. Nice. I like this. But where I was getting to was basically if we were going to use a catalyst, I'm pretty sure that that would not change the capacity. It looks like it's actually not registering this catalyst as a catalyst. Like it's expecting one of the new ones. Let's go ahead and make... Let's make it a custom one, because I've never seen one of those. That looks cool. So it has the size of 10. I don't think these work anymore. Yeah, because the size is just a question mark. That's interesting. Yeah, because see, now when I add this, the capacity goes down by 10, and we can see the negatives and the positive modifiers. Okay, that's interesting. I like that. Um, I'm just a bit sad that these are now not working. So I don't know if I should replace these with the actual ones, like actually get them from a creative. Let me know what you think down below in the comments, because I technically have these and I have used materials on them. I would have them, um, but the size would just be 10. I, I would like to get these because we have collected quite a few uh, throughout the, the time of playing this. So I think I'm going to do that in between episodes, but basically... That's how that would work. And I think I'm actually going to use this one on this uh, vault because I don't think I really want to use any of the other ones unless it's an architect. So let's do that. And let's just do this. There we go. So the uh, capacity is no longer there. We have one random modifier, uh, run one random negative and one accustomed. All right, let's get to inscriptions. Using inscriptions on your vault crystals can give you many advantages as it allows you to create a vault containing specific rooms. Inscriptions can be crafted in the inscription table using the raw material inscription pieces, which can be found in wooden chests. Crafted inscriptions take up 10 capacity of a crystal. Inscriptions with less size requirement can be found rarely in living chests, treasure rooms, and completion crates. Inscriptions can be applied to a crystal in the crystal workbench. When a crystal has at least one inscription inscribed on it, the vault will render a map of where to find that room in the start room. They actually implement... I didn't think they would implement this in this update. Take your time to memorize the path of the... Oh, we are so doing that. <laughs> we are so doing... I'm not, I'm, I'm not done. Is it... Um, I don't think it's actually... Uh, it's not locked. I can... Oh, we are so doing this, ladies and gentlemen. This is... Uh, this is insane. I... Oh. Oh, and, and now I really, really, really need those. Um, okay, hold, hold on. I... I uh, okay, so first of all, can I just pick this up 
And yes, that counts. Good. <laughs> I would be sad if I had to craft another one. Oops, uh, that I did that wrong. So for example, if I wanted to use this Wild West Bloom inscription to get gilded chests, or even better, do I have one for living? I don't think I have one for living. Uh, that would be the mushroom room, which is here. I can actually make this now if I get this and get the 32. Add that to that. That's enough inscription pieces. I have the vault gold. I have five living chest scrolls. Oh, I can actually make that. That is a lot of echo gems, but we do have enough. <laughs> now the question is, will I be able to find it if I actually were to go ahead and do this? I can actually go ahead and make it, which means if I had all the ones with living, which I do have quite a few of, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, living, 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 living. That would be one, two, three, four. That's 100%, one, two. That's 150%, and I can make more. I could get that to 200% living chest in a living chest catalyst, resulting in probably quite a bit of knowledge. Okay, so what I have gone ahead and done now is I replaced all six uh, catalysts here, living catalysts, with a brand new one, as you can see here. And I haven't seen you in ages, fella. Do you have... you have nothing. You have absolutely nothing. How much damage is this gonna do? <laughs> That's lethal. <laughs> so with those replaced, I'm actually going to go ahead and craft two more. Even though that is quite expensive, but I really just I I, I want to do this. I want I've been wanting. Why am I putting this in here? I've been wanting to do this for so long. You have no idea, except that I'm just remembering the capacity. I think because if I add an inscription, right? Is that how I do it? I forget now. I'm going to save this for another crystal because. If I only have 55 capacity, I just realized I'm going to be able to use five of these uh, catalysts here. I won't be able to use the other three. So the two that I just crafted actually was a bit of a waste of materials. But still, I'm going to save this in here uh, together with the other stuff. And then after the first crystal, we're going to run that because I've been wanting to do that for so long. I mean, we can do it, but it is going to get cursed. So I'm just going to do this one. It's going to be a warm up. It's going to be a custom, which is cool. We gotta run with that. Uh, vault crystals. We can actually accept this uh, and complete that. Uh, vendors. Now that you have become level two, open a vendor inside a vault. So we need to redo that one. Architects vault rock. Ooh. Uh, the divine paradox. Uh, in order to get started, you will need an architect's vault rock, which you can place on the vault altar to create a divine paradox architect crystal, letting you buy rooms. Okay, I'm not going to do that just yet. And then we have the trash rooms. Okay, so I think we're pretty much there to craft a challenges vault rock. Upon reaching level 50, you unlock the possibility to craft a challenges vault crystal. This crystal cannot be modified and keeps track of your win streak as session. Every time you successfully complete a challenges vault crystal, you increase the difficulty of the next challenges crystal you run. When you eventually fail, and you will, you will receive ampers, depending on how far you've got. Ampers are a currency item used in the Ascension Forge. Are you ready for your ascension? Okay, let's wait with that. This has been a lot already. I'm going to do that. Make sure all is empty. And I think I am ready to run our first vault. I am excited. I'm trying to remember if I have forgotten anything. I don't think I have. That's expensive to bring back if I die. Better make sure that I don't. All right, onslaught plus twenty percent increased amount of buff spawns. Okay, I can deal with that. I do fairly good amount of damage, I'd say. I'm, I'm actually not. I'm not mad about that. And only three of those altars. If I can find those, that would be kind of good, especially because of the plus twenty percent uh, vault XP. So, ow! no, no, that's I. Just because of those, I hate this. <laughs> I hate this room. Uh. Uh, I, I feel like that would have been a POI, but I, I guess not. So anything that I do that would normally give me Vault XP is going to give me 20% extra. And line up, and 3, 2, 1, okay. That, that could have gone better. That, I will admit that could have gone better. Extra item quality for a minute? I mean, I won't say no. If we can find a vendor door, that would be most ideal, because then we can get those 20 gold, which I really would like to get. 
and we have a normal dungeon. Uh, it's a coin one. I feel like I keep getting only coin uh, dungeons, which is, I guess, good because I do need the coin. So I think I actually will go ahead and do this. Um, also, I would not mind the XP. We can level up a little bit more. I'm confused. Is this a dungeon? I expected it to be bigger. I didn't think it could actually be this small, but apparently that is the case. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna complain. Extra coins, extra XP. Let's go. All right, this should cover that very nice. Ooh, that is. I already have an Omega Possessed Plate though, and it is a. Uh, it's already a level 50 Omega, so I think I'm happy with that. And we have this thing, and we have the key for a Gorgonite. I'm pretty sure that's not Gorgonite. Yeah, it's not. Okay. <laughs> One day we will find that door that fits our key, or a key that fits the door. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? That is so not cool. That is so not cool. So not cool. So not cool. So not cool. Actually, I haven't been hit once. I'm pretty happy with this. Not happy about the big one though. And just like that, you are gone. And your chests are mine. I feel like the chances of me actually completing the vault objective is going to be extremely, extremely slim. Uh, challenge. All right, let's take it. Mine vault ores. 21. I should have taken that before I mined the ores down there. That's... <laughs> that's... Uh, that, that, mm, that's not cool. With that set, though, I mean, that's 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. That's an Echo Gem, 20. And if I'm not mistaken, 21. Ooh, 100% mana regeneration and cooldown reduction. I'll take it. And I collect that, which was a capstone using crystal work. But that's a capstone making the crystal armor. Oh, okay. I guess I've been missing those the entire time doing challenges. Not that I've completed many. I will grant you that, but uh, good to know still. Ooh, champion that has absolutely no chance against me. There we go. Ooh, rare boots. 11 minutes left and I still have not found a single obelisk yet. What on earth is that? That is new. Please stop existing. Thank you. Wow, and you hurt a lot. Please go away as well. Yikes, that was um, interesting. And this is gonna be normal. And what the. Ooh, living chest. Yep, I have to do this. And it's skeletons. Okay, this should be doable. I mean, it's normal difficulty. I should be able to do this. The loot is definitely going to be worth it. Oh dear, they're all spawning it down there. <laughs> oh wow, alright, poison. Um, and it sounds like we have archers as well. Javelin, javelin, yep. Yeah, javelin again, javelin, because we have so much mana. We actually have a lot of mana, and the 100% um, mana regen is really helping here as well. Because this is, that was easy. That was very easy, actually. And now we just have all of these chests. I mean, this is just perfect. This, this is what we needed. This is what I wanted to do in that mushroom room, which we hopefully will be doing later. Uh, 40 is 43 knowledge essence just from those and that, that that's 44 that's 40 and 50 wow dungeons are good is my conclusion <laughs> lost bounty i don't know whether or not that's going to be in not important but it's going to be 30 i'm mm, i'm not gonna do that because i feel like that that's a bad trade but you guys will have to let me know down below in the comments if that was a very big missed opportunity because i I, th I think it's just another bounty, but I would assume from the price that it's a bounty that has at least some more value than a normal bounty from the bounty table we had. Um, but I, I have no idea, just like I suck at jumping like that, apparently. <laughs> All right, seven minutes left. I probably am going to loot this room and then, yeah, probably need to start heading back. Oh, poison, poison, but I have poison immunity. That's good. I like to see it. And another poison. Another poison just hit me. Okay, that's brilliant. But it's good to know that that is not working because that was not working the many other episodes I've been doing. Uh, that poison has not been working at all. <laughs> it's nice to see that that is now fixed, making the voice a little bit more challenging. Oh, I like this POI. Oh, that was that was a horrible jet. There we go. That's a much better javelin. Much better. Did they change something with the PYs? Because I feel like I've been getting a lot more P 
he was with like ornate together with wooden, gilded together with uh, wooden, a lot more living chests. Like, do you guys know if they did anything with the PYs? Do please let me know down below in the comments. Either I've just gotten a good vault or I'm getting... Uh, yeah, I, I feel like something's different, but it could just be me. All right, these are going to be the last chests because now I gotta start heading back. I don't know how far away I am. And I haven't done any of the objectives, so no hope in finishing that instead of going through the vault gate. All right, my portal is back there, so that allows me to greed a little bit to the left and to the right, which is going to be nice. Uh, I have missed this entire thing, even though it was right next to my portal. This is not cool. Adds for 30 seconds to the timer. I think this might be worth using a couple of uh, lemons for because some of these can actually be pretty good. Yep, just like that. So I just want to get as many of these as I can because this is very good stuff. <laughs> oh, wow. And I'm just going to have extra kiwis as well, just as a backup. Can I make this? Yeah, beautiful. There are also awesome those as well, but I'm just going to focus on getting the chest here because that's going to be the most important stuff right now. I mean, that is just very satisfying. All right, less than a minute left. I think this is a good time to jump down here, place my final block, heal up, and then go through our portal. I still have everything on me. Very good. I'd call that a win. I would call that a definite win. And I even have a little bit of time to spare to put my lemon and my kiwis away. That, ladies and gentlemen, was a very, very good vault. So we are alive, 274 mobs, and we looted 174 chests. I feel like that could be a record. I don't know, but that that's that's a lot. And we also got quite a bit of vault XP, because that's halfway through level 54 towards level 55. Wow, and did I forget to... Nope, I still have these. These are running. Ooh, that's completed. I think I forgot to actually grab that last time. Okay. All right, so let us take a look at the loot. I got a vault catalyst. I think I picked that up from somewhere. I guess that might still be a bug where you can maybe sometimes get the old catalyst or something. I'm not sure. But look at that. 54 vault rocks. Now we don't need to use uh, chromatic iron to convert them anymore, which is very cool stuff. But I guess this now can go in... Yeah, here. Oh dear me, that's a lot of gear. Let's wait with that. Let's take a look at some of this other stuff first. Just gonna empty the blue bag because that is some non-interesting stuff. I will need to, I think I need to, like, look at all that. Look at all that. That is almost too much. I think I need to start basically just voiding stuff. I think one of these has a void upgrade, if I'm not mistaken. Never mind, I don't have a void upgrade, I don't think, unless maybe I put it in here, void, nope, what about in here, that's also a nope. I guess I need to invest into that. Look at all the focuses as well, and eight inscription pieces is not bad, and also, three living chest scrolls are not bad at all, since we are hopefully going to use five of those soon-ish. And let's take a look at here, nine of these, I'm not even gonna do anything else, please, get me something, okay, yep, I see how this... <laughs> <laughs> Let's get all that. That's a bunch of knowledge, which will result in total of 90, 97, 97 of that. That's, that's pretty good because that will result in eight and then 12 knowledge stars. Once we get uh, a little bit more, we'll have quite a few. That was a very exciting part as well. This thing. I mean, look at, oh, that's a good jewel. That's a very good... By the way, while I'm remembering, not soulbound, I need trap disarm chance. Trap disarm chance, I still have 54 capacity. I need trap disarm chance so badly. Oh, I have plenty. <laughs> I have a plenty. I want the highest percentage possible and also the lowest size. And basically, the more I can put on here, the better. Only 2%? That's horrible. I mean, some of these sizes, most of these sizes actually are not great by a long shot. But I mean, this is 11 and I still have 30 to go. I don't remember if I can cut any of these. I believe I can. 17 size is 15, so that's 20, so that's 35, which will give me a decent, I think, enough. That's not how you do that. That's, that's not how you do that either. Here, there we go. That's going to give me a decent 
crap this arm chairs. I could get another one. I could cut this one down because it's 8%. 21. That is not enough, unfortunately. And I'm pretty sure if I do it again, it's going to break. Yep, I thought, uh, thought so. Okay, I, I need to learn sometimes. So I guess this can go down to a tenor. And that's pretty much it. That gives us a trap design chance of 21%. I'll do it, actually. And uh, this pickaxe requires some repairing. Not quite yet, but I would like to do that beforehand before something bad happens. I actually haven't looked at this today yet. Uh, ooh, empty inscription. I don't know if I'll need empty inscriptions, to be honest, anymore. But we do have quite a few shop pouches, so I get... Ooh, Wild West room. Okay. Another inscription. Do I do it? Yes, I do. x room. x room is actually good. x room is really, really good. Because that's ornate. Ah, hold on. So, new inscriptions has the size on them, while old inscriptions doesn't have any size, but I'm pretty sure, believe it or not, while I was recording this, they actually released a hotfix, and I'm pretty sure old inscriptions count as size 10 by default, if I'm not mistaken. We'll have to see in a moment, but now I need to sort through this. <laughs> okay, here we go. Basically, anything that is not at, at as good as uh, Omega, because I want a lot of prefixes and suffixes, Basically, I'm not going to consider, especially the stuff with less stats that I already have. Like here, the chestplate armor itself is higher, but mine is still better because it has so many prefixes. Okay, these are an upgrade, actually, uh, except that my current leggings have a lot of mana boost. So unless I can get that on here, it might be worth a shot. Basically, anything else is not good enough for me to consider. That's a lot of soul chats, though. But all, any of this stuff basically has to go. Because it, I don't consider it worth it. <laughs> In it all goes. Okay. We get a little bit less armor. We don't get mana regen. But we do have plus 20% mana. Instead of just plus 20 mana. So 20% plus 150. That's 10% uh, is 15. So that's 30 mana. If my math is actually correct here. And extra attack damage. I think these leggings are going to replace my current ones. Go ahead and enchant those with Unbreaking 3. And then, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for this thing right here. Except that I'm going to save it for the next episode. Because I think we're getting pretty lengthy. And I don't want to cram so much into a video. I want to space it out a little bit. I can't sleep, so I apologize for the rain. But I want to do this in the next episode. This, I'm pretty sure, it should work. We can go ahead and check the next recipe for this thing. Uh, die. Ooh, I haven't been to the end, have I? No, I have not. Um, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we're definitely doing this in the next episode. Next episode, we have to go to the end. And then we're going to be doing stuff with this. And I'm very, very excited for it. My idea is basically, because it says it's going to generate a map inside the room, we're going to pop this in, and then we're going to find that room, loot it as much as possible, and then get out, basically. I mean, I guess we can loot the rest of the vault, but still, that is going to be the main focus of that vault run. Still only three key pieces. They're very, very rare. But well, that's the plan for the next episode. Get Chorus Fruit, so get to the end. Defeat the Ender Dragon, I suppose. We haven't done that yet. Get the Chorus Fruit. Get back here. Craft this crystal. Add those inscriptions, go ahead, run that vault, get a lot of knowledge, and potentially unlock a mod. I guess we'll see where it takes us. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful rest of your day, and goodbye, and hopefully, by this, I can sleep. Look at that. Perfect time. Good night. See you next time. Goodbye now. Goodbye. Goodbye.